right, we welcome you back as the polls continue, the numbers continue to roll in here. Nikki Haley having a better than expected night in South Carolina. News Nation senior political contributor George Will is with us, a man who spends a lot of time in South Carolina. Also, I think fair to count you as a Nikki Haley fan. Uh, what is the difference, George, realistically, uh, in the terms of the difference between her losing by 30 points, which is where the polls had her, and losing by, say, 20 points when we look forward to Super Tuesday states that she's going to have to win? It's an enormous difference, Leland. It, as, as you and I have spoken before during the week, my thought was if it was 60-40, it's not what Mr. Trump said was going to happen. He said there was going to be a gigantic victory. This is not a gigantic victory. A gigantic victory would have knocked her out. She's, not, she's off the ropes, and she's playing rope-a-dope with him, to get with Muhammad Ali's terminology. She's letting him punch, and she's saying, we're going on. I think what, what he really fears is, and what his people fear, is that she is puncturing his aura of inevitability. Mm -hmm. We've known for a while that Mr. Trump has much better advisors in 2024 than he had two year, four years ago. They got him out early tonight because, A, they didn't want him to see that it was not going to be a gigantic victory, and they didn't want him to go ballistic and lose his composure as he did in New Hampshire. If you want to know, I don't know, uh, Leland, if you could put up on the screen. If not, never mind. <laughs> Look at the results in Charleston. Charleston is the part of North Carolina that looks like the November electorate nationally. And it's a pretty good night in Charleston for Nikki Haley. So Republicans have to say, who do we really want to send out against Mr. Biden, who, for all his weaknesses, and Lord, they are historically bad, for all Mr. Biden's weaknesses, he is still within the margin of error in his competition with, with, uh, with Donald Trump. Furthermore, part of Donald Trump's appeal has been, for eight years now, he has cast himself as the insurgent against the establishment. Leland, he is the Republican establishment, and who is the insurgent now? The insurgent now is Nikki Haley. So if there is a rest of rebellious instinct in the Republican electorate, I think it might begin to migrate to Nikki Haley. I'll use a baseball metaphor rather than a boxing one. How much of this is you as a diehard Cubs fan telling nah. me that the Cubs are going to win a World Series in the 1980s? Well, the Cubs win the World Series every 108 years, as is known. <laughs> but I think... Uh, at, at, look, I've backed enough losing causes to no one when I see one. Nikki Haley's not a losing cause just yet. The game goes on. You got to get 27 outs to win. And when one team says, let's stop the game now, it's over, we've won, that's the sign of weakness. That's the sign of worry. The oh. game's going on, and aren't we all glad? All right. Uh, real quick, as we look towards Super Tuesday, you got to beat the man to be the man or the woman. You got to start running up the delegate count to, as your point, prevent Donald Trump from getting to 1,215. Nikki Haley, as we look at the delegate count in, in South Carolina, she did better. She's nowhere close to really putting a dent into Donald Trump's momentum in the delegate count. What states... Does she win on Super Tuesday, 10 days from now, that is going to actually change this conversation? I don't think it's winning a state, Leland. I think it is continuing to show that there is a not negligible 40 percent or more Republicans saying, we don't want this choice. We want more. And once you do that, you are going to see the aura of inevitability that Mr. Trump has carefully cultivated begins to lose its air. And when people say, you know, we've been told there's no choice, lo and behold, there's a choice. Let's see what happens. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.